when you eat sugar, your brain doesn't like it and it starts to shut down and it leads to Alzheimer's. It, it becomes resistant to it, exactly right. It, resistant to the insulin effects, which are so critical for keeping your neurons alive. So the beautiful thing here is that what we saw in the lab reflected beautifully what you and David Perlmutter and Jeffrey Bland were saying clinically. So that the, you know, if we hadn't had all the great work you did, we would have been stuck. Say, okay, what's the next step we take now from the lab? But here's this beautiful functional medicine already to plug in the underlying science of Alzheimer's disease. So in that sense, very helpful. And as you said, very, you, you, sugar damages your ability to support your synapses. So you've got to address with ketones, you've got to address the energy, you've got to adjust the insulin uh, sensitivity, you've got to get insulin sensitive instead of insulin resistant, which virtually everybody with Alzheimer's is. And then you have to have, you have to reduce any inflammation. Your brain responds to inflammation by saying, I am being attacked. There's some organism out there, so I'm going to make this amyloid, which kills these microorganisms. But in so doing, I, again, I'm downsizing. So you've got to get rid of that inflammation, not just get rid of the inflammation, resolve it, but you also have to find out what's causing it and address that.